energy. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. And I'm coming at you with my second CVS haul this week. I think I told you on Monday that I had extra bucks expiring. I had to get back to CVS. Yesterday, well, Monday night, actually, I had EJ overnight, which was so awesome. He did really, really well. He woke up, I don't know, about 1.30 in the morning. I had to give him a bottle. He was in and out of being awake for maybe 40 minutes, and then he slept until like 8 a.m. It was awesome. So it was so wonderful having him but I had extra bucks expiring today, so I had to get to CVS. So we're gonna do just a super quick and easy haul. I almost wasn't gonna film this, and then I was like, eh, let me just show you what I'm doing in case you're in the same situation as me, how I'm spending down some extra bucks and refreshing them because we don't know what's gonna happen with the CRTs. They could stay gone for a long time or maybe not gone. Um, but in light of Number one, it being a new year, 2022, in light of all of the issues with the CRTs that a lot of accounts are experiencing, and in light of the fact that I am so incredibly grateful for you and for CVS couponing, even with the issues happening, I thought, you know what? Let's start the new year off with the bang and let's do a giveaway. So I'm going to gift two $20 CVS electronic gift cards to two lucky winners. So all you have to do to enter is you have to be currently subscribed to the channel. You have to give the video a thumbs up. And, oh, I had something that I wanted you to tell me. Oh, let me know how long you've been couponing at CVS. You just got to drop that down in the comments. That will enter you to win. So I'll draw both of those winners next Monday in my CVS haul and hopefully that $20 will help out a little bit for any of you that maybe have been affected like me with not getting CRTs. <laughs> I got one. I got one. <laughs> so there you go. I don't care. I am still grateful for CVS couponing and I'm going to do an awesome teeny little easy haul today. All right, so we're gonna run into CVS. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's run in. Here we are back at CVS again. I got to spend down some extra bucks and refresh some. All right, I have a question. Please comment below if you can provide feedback on this. My friend Ash commented on my Monday video and let me know she has an account. She's had it, I think, two or three years, she said. Never has she gotten care pass on that account, and that account has never been affected by any CRT issues. The account she does have care pass on is affected. So let me know if you have never, not if you had it and canceled it, but if you have never had care pass, was your account not affected? All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the boost deal because I'm trying to spend down some CR, no, not some CRTs. I don't have any CRTs, some ACBs. So they're on promotion for um, buy four and back a $10 extra buck and they are on sale for $8.99 each. So these four are going to total me $35.96. We're going to get a little double dip action. I'm going to use two of the paper coupons for $5 off two. And then I also have two digital coupons for $5 off two that will double dip and come off. That'll drop me down to $15.96 and I'll earn back a $10 extra buck. So $5.96 for all four is not bad at all. And I'm getting these for my father-in-law who drinks them every day. Okay, I saw this deal over on Star's channel and oh, they only had one. I was so bummed I was not going to be able to do it on this Viver, Viverin gum, but then I saw one tucked behind so I can do it. These are on promotion for buy two, earn back a $5 extra buck. They're priced at $3.29 in my store. So $6.58 for both of these, I'll pay that and then I'll earn back a $5 extra buck. So cost of $1.58 for both. It's caffeine gum. I don't know. I found it over in like the pain relief aisle with the Tylenol and the leave and all that good stuff if you want to check your store. 
All right, next deal I saw over on my friend Amy's channel, Amy Way to Save. I've done this deal a couple of times, uh, but I didn't notice it was on promotion this week on the Efferdent. They're priced at $6.99 in my store, and they're on promotion for buy one, earn back a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I am going to use an expired coupon because my store accepts them for $2.50 off. So that'll drop me down to $4.49 and I'll earn back a $5 extra buck, making it free plus a 51 cent money maker. And we're just doing a super easy haul today. I have, I think, $29 in extra bucks that is expiring today, so I need to use them. Uh, the next deal I'm going to do is just going to be a little double dip action, not giving back any extra bucks. My husband likes the Right Guard deodorant, and I don't hardly have any in my stockpile. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. They're $5.59 each. So two will total me um, $11.18. I'm going to use this four off two paper coupon. You can always search coupontom.com to find out what insert any coupon comes from. And I also have a four off two digital that will double dip and come off. So that'll drop me down to $3.18 and then I'll submit to Ibotta for $0.60 cents back on each. So cost of just $1.98 for both. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the soft soap deal. I think the Irish Spring 3-pack bar soap is also included. They're on sale, four for $10, and when you buy four, you earn back a $5 extra buck. And this Lemon Kitchen one is my favorite, so I'm going to grab three of these, and I also like the green one. It's like a citrus flavor. So $10, I'll earn back a $5 extra buck. It'll be a cost of $5 for all four, or $1.25 each. There are coupons available on softsoap.com. Um, I've already printed them, so I wasn't able to print any more. All right, easy peasy. This is going to complete my CVS haul for today. I'm refreshing the extra bucks that are expiring and spending a little bit down so I have less extra bucks on this account. Now, I told you on Monday I did start a new account that I will be starting to use next week. And normally, I recommend that you get the Care Pass when you start a new account because you can sign up in the store for free and you start off with $10, which is awesome. But now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't get the Care Pass if accounts that have never, ever signed up for Care Pass have not been affected by the CRT issue, then I'm not going to get it even though it's an awesome savings every month to get a free $5, but I would love your feedback on this. Only if you would never ever signed up for CarePass did your account not get affected by the CRT issue. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over this haul. All right, we're back at the kitchen table with my easy peasy haul. Got all my extra bucks spent, refreshed, and spent some of them down, which was my plan. So let's take a look at my receipt. So there are my soft soap, my four boost, the two uh, caffeine gum, and the effortant and the right guard. So I used um, the four off two on the right guard, the 250 on the effortant, both of the $5 on the boost, there's my $5 digital on the boost, my $4 on the bright card, and my other five digital on the boost all coming off. I got my care pass today, so I went ahead and used that. And then I had $29 in extra bucks expiring today, so I used all of those and had a subtotal of $1.21. So I earned back uh, my $5 extra buck for the Effordent, my $5 extra buck for the Soft Soap, my $5 extra buck for, um, ex it's external pain and Emerson brand products. There's like two pages of products on this one. I found it on CVS's website. Um, and then the $10 for the boost. And then funny enough, I told you guys on Monday, this account right here got no CRTs at all on Sunday. And I shopped this card on Monday. I haven't actually shopped on this card probably for three or four weeks, which is why all of my extra bucks were expiring. And look at what I got. I got a dang CRT for five off 25 Colgate. And my five off 25, I did have a five off 25 Colgate on this account um, already, 
that I wanted to use on Monday and it did not apply, but I had a four off 25 oral care that applied. It didn't apply because my dang toothbrush didn't attach to the old five off 25 Colgate, but the toothbrush is too attached to the new five off 25 Colgate that I got so weird. Just so weird that I got one random CRT when I didn't get any on Sunday. So anyways, looking forward to your feedback on if you've never had care pass and your accounts weren't affected. So I used $29 in extra bucks to pay for this plus my care pass, which cost me $5. And then I had a subtotal of $1.21. So my cost for this haul was $35.21. I earned back $25 in extra bucks and then submitted to Ibotta for $1.30 back. 60 cents for each one of the right guard and then I had like a 10 cent any receipt scan. So 26.30 total is what I earned. So it makes my cost just $8.91, which I think is pretty dang good considering the boost is $8.99 each. So it's like I paid for one boost, got all three other boosts free, got free soft soap, free right guard, free effortant to clean the toilets, and free caffeine gum. So I think that's pretty fantastic. So I'm excited to start using the new card next week because new cards always get different types of CRTs and it'll just be fun to kind of give 2022 a fresh start. And depending on y'all's feedback, if you've never had Care Pass, maybe I just won't even get Care Pass and just see if this account never gets affected by these weird CRT issues. All right, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was just a super simple, quick haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna see you again soon. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Bye!